good morning this is the continuation to for a atp's interview questions and answers so my first question is what is the pseudo random pattern and why it is called the pseudo random pattern answer is a sequence of numbers are data that appears random but is generated by the deterministic algorithm it is called the pseudo random because it's deterministic and uh, repeatable but it appears to be random my next question is why we do iddq testing iddq testing monitors the steady state supply current of an ic while it is in a non switching state so when it is in non switching state a abnormally high current indicates a defect iddq testing next question is how will you improve transition faults test coverage it is one of the important question how will you improve the transition fault test coverage first one is scan chains incorporate the scan chains to easily controllable and uh, easily control and observe internal circuit states allowing better excitation of transition faults next one is test point add extra test point at the strategic location in the circuit to access the critical signals and improve the fault visibility next one is uh, logic restructuring modify modify circuit logic to create more testable paths and uh, facilitate transition fault detection but uh, these two things are not uh, in our hand the adding test points and logic restructuring is not uh, in our hand the design team will going to take place but uh, whenever the signal is not controllable and observable we should add an uh, control point and observe point there will be some limit by the with the permission of design team only we can able to do these this and uh, next one is advanced atpc algorithms like path based atpc utilize the algorithm that focus on the identifying the identifying and uh, targeting the critical path within a circuit where transition faults are most likely to occur next one is uh, delay aware atpc consider the delay information when generating test patterns to specify the target potential timing related transition faults next one is multi pattern excitation so generate the test patterns that create a multiple transitions on a critical signals to increase the li likelihood of detecting the transition faults next one is <clears throat> which one is widely used in industry which one is better loc or lo uh, los or loc normally uh, in all the cases we are using the loc method loc method uh, because uh, there is some drawback in the los so we will know the next uh, question so the los method is more uh, preferable based on atpc complexity and uh, pattern uh, count compared to the los method loc method so loc method based on based on the sequential atpc algorithm loc use los uses the combinational atpc and loc uses the sequential atpc algorithm while the los method uses the combinational atpc next one is uh, what is the difference between the launch and capture and launch and shift loc is launch and capture and los is launch and shift there is a simple difference launch and capture is going to happen at uh, when scan enable is low in loc uh, when scan enable is low um, launch and uh, launch is happening at uh, when scan enable is high launch is uh, uh, capture is happening at when scan enable is high sorry 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 so really sorry so here uh, the launch is happening in los method launch is happening at last shift and the capture is happening at when scan enable is low that is the thing i want to convey i just confuse you so uh, now i am going to tell you that loc launch and capture and launch and shift are both the methods used to activate the transition faults but the key difference is when the transition is launched when the transition is going to be launched in loc launches the transition at capture phase of this scan chain utilizing the functional clock scheme 
utilizing the functional clock scheme. That's why the power is more. Power consumption is more in LOC. While LOS launches the transition during the shift phase, giving the more control over the fault activation path and typically resulting the better fault coverage. In LOC, transition is launched based on the functional clock signal. While in LOS, it is launched during the scan shift operation, which provides the more precise control over, over when the transition occurs. LOS generally offers a better controllability over the fault activation path as a uh, scan chain is fully controllable during the shift phase, leading to potentially higher fault coverage compared to LOC. In LOC, the law, if you fail, the controllability is less because if you fail to get the desired uh, value at the particular node because we are using the functional block to launch functional block to launch the signal so that uh, we'll get a less coverage. If you lose the, if you are unable to get the proper value at the node, so we won't get the proper coverage. So this is for all about today's lecture. So we'll meet the tomorrow.